Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD. Yes, if you don't know what BTNHD stands for, it is BJ Tech News High Def. <laughs> so on the last video, guys, I showed you how to install the App V Management Console, which was pretty simple. Uh, we're doing everything on Windows 2008 R2. Pretty excited about this because it's been a while that I haven't done any App V videos for you guys. Uh, it's been a while for me to actually deploy App V to an actual client to use it so I'm super excited doing this and uh, it is a video request I think on the last video we did the install management server 4.57 SP 2 yeah 4.5 service pack 2 right uh, this is actually 2011 but 2012 is out I just couldn't get myself a copy of it but it's the same it's the same procedures guys just different versions it's the same steps uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is install the streaming server, which is extremely simple. Okay, so let's click on it. Once you click on it, the wizard uh, is going to start extracting all the installation files that it needs. It's going to check for storage, and we're going to start reading. If you want to read, we're going to hit next. We're going to accept the license in terms and conditions. Hit next. Again, I stress this on all my videos. Please make sure you update everything. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do it because I'm just testing stuff out. We're going to hit next. Give the username, it's really up to you. My name is Bernardo, and it's BJ Tech News. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, again, this is really up to you. You wanna leave it as the default. I like to place it on a partition drive, like a D drive or E drive if I have it, but I'm gonna leave the default as the C. I'm gonna hit next. And again, uh, whatever your server name is gonna be, I haven't changed the server name as of yet, so that's why I have all this gibberish. That's why, uh, and this is the server certificate for AtV. Uh, I'm going to hit next on that. Uh, port 322 is going to be used, but again, if you guys want to customize your ports, go for it. But I'm going to use, I'm going to use the default port. Hit next. And again, uh, store the content somewhere that you uh, trust. Uh, a lot of people like to put this on a file share that everyone has access to it, most likely, or the machines on your floor has access to it. So for this video, I'm going to store everything locally on the default. So we're gonna hit next. Now, these are your advanced settings. This is where you configure your client connection management. So I'm gonna leave everything as default, okay? I'm not gonna change anything at all. Uh, sometimes, probably, I probably change the, the cache block size and the maximized uh, cache block size because if you don't increase it, depending on the what package you're pushing out to your users, it might cause some problems. I'm gonna leave everything default because again, I'm gonna be pushing some light programs, not anything extreme. So we're gonna hit next. And uh, yeah, I'm ready. We're gonna hit install. And we're back. Yes, I love this dialog box. Wizard is completed. And we're gonna hit finish. And it's gonna want you to restart your machine. Hit yes to restart. And that's it guys. That is how you install your AppV streaming server. I think on the next video guys, I'm gonna show you how to uh, install the sequencer. Uh, the sequencer is normally installed on a an actual machine or an operating system that's throughout your entire office. So let's say if you're using Windows 7, the sequencer should be on Windows 7 because you're going to be capturing these programs on a Windows 7 environment. So on the next video, I explain all that gibberish to you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please leave comments below. Please make sure you follow me at BJ Tech News at my Twitter account because when I start pushing all this stuff out to you guys, that's the first place where you're getting notified. And uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.